Yo guys, Spider-Bot here, and uh, we're looking at the behind-the-scenes Mob of the Dead that was released on uh, Xbox Live uh, right after the Call of Duty Championships. And uh, I'm going to uh, be producing shorter videos because, man, there is so much here, and I want to talk about all these things. Now, the first thing we're going to take a look at, and we're going to show you a picture from, you know regular zombies with the monkey bombs and see where the monkey bombs indicator is right you have three monkey bombs and it's at the bottom right of your screen to the left of your frags well check this out what is that indicator on this screen this is an image taken from the trailer not sure what it looks like from here i mean it's got this red glow around it it obviously looks like it's some sort of of item that you get from the box that's kind of like monkey bombs or molotov cocktails etc right or gersh devices so i'm going to show you a few images from the very beginning of this trailer that was posted now i can't show you the whole trailer i mean it's an xbox dashboard it was exclusive so uh you know i can take trailers that uh, that activision releases and, and no problem and, and show you all the video content i'm just not sure about this so i'm not going to show you the video content but here are a few images at the beginning of this trailer so what it actually looks like to me is we've got these it's like flaming tomahawks and they're multiple tomahawks if you throw them out just as you would a monkey bomb or a gersh device it looks like multiple of these tomahawks are created and they just go flying through the air and they explode on the zombies and they take them out um so so it looks like that's our replacement for monkey bombs and gersh devices we got something new it looks pretty cool actually i gotta admit can't wait to use them. All right, guys, we'll have more for you. Like I said, I want to break this down. I don't know, man. It's it's pretty hard to uh, to take the whole thing, the whole trailer, and break it down step by step like we normally do because there are clues and pieces hidden for different things throughout that entire trailer that I'm trying to piece together. So I think it'll be better off if we do these shorter videos. I mean, I don't know. People are going to oh, you're spamming these videos. Well, I don't know. I don't know. What better way to do it? I think it'll be better better this way. That's just my opinion. So um, normally I wouldn't. That's how it is. <laughs> Leave a comment. What do you guys think? I'm spidering them out.